the William Fry handicap hurdle is next. This is a three mile nought to one forty. Top one is Sir Gerhard for David Hooley. Bragorn, Graham Plutterbuck, Bell Kennedy, and Dan Silly Family for Alex Cherry. Sharp right, David Rawson, Equator, Paul Rhodes, Tamanaco, Gift, Darren Thompson. Need to improve Craig Beckwith, French Vacation. Leon van Rensburger, Hayne Byrne, Martin Lee, Lewin, Stravinsky, Paul Rhodes. Sauce it up. Ryan Tamasevi, Climbing Shadows, Greg Beckwith, Karuga Black, Thomas Rogers, Kate Possession B, Fothering a Mighty Black, Graham Clutterbuck, and Ring of Esteem for Thomas Rogers. Where are they going? Making their way down towards the first of the flights of hurdles, which they've all successfully got over, they've got 13 more to take, which will mean 14 in all, and Equator. Leaves them into the second. And there's a fall of it. And that's sorted up. That's gone. So, a rare fall in the hurdles. And a proper fall as well. So, that's sorted up. So, okay. And probably be back next week. At Cheltenham. In one of the three milers. But it's Equator who's got the lead by about three lengths to Sir Gerhard in second. And then Ernest Stravinsky's in third. Then Bell Kennan and Hain Byrne. After that one, then Den Stan Silly Fami, Mighty Black also getting a little bit closer. They've got an awful long way to go yet. And they get over the third. And Equator leads. By a good four or five lengths to Bell Kennan on the inside in second. Stable companion Dan Silly Fami is the one that's widest on the track. And purple jacketed Sir Gerhard is also close up with Ernest Trevinsky on his inside and Mighty Black on his outside, tucked in behind him, Achain Burn as they take the fourth. And he's climbing shadows after that one. Camp possession in the pink and the black on the inside. With Karuga Blank and Brigorn after that. Also on the right is Sharp Right as they take the fifth of the 14, and they're all over that one okay as well with Rio Esteem just the back marker at the moment. But it's Equator that's taking them along. A comfortable lead of six lengths to Bill Kennan and Dan Silly Family, the Alex Cherry pair, second and third. Then Mighty Black is fourth. And comes Ernest Stravinsky and Sir Gerhard and Climbing Shadows and Karuga Blank and Sharp Rod. Achain Burn is after that one. And then French Possession. Looking towards the back, needs to improve. It's just dropped to the back marker point. And now Dan Silly Family made a mistake there. Down on its nose. It's dropped back to about fifth. It's Equator that's in the lead. So Paul Rhodes 1 and 4. Alex Cherry 2 and 5. And in between the two of them, Mighty Black for Graham Clutterbuck with Sharp Right just in behind them in the turquoise and mauve hoops as they go over number 7. And they're all safely over that one as well with Ring of Esteem still just the back marker. Racing down then past the big screen. Shortly go past the winning post and past the midway point in the race. Still got seven more flights of hurdles to get over as well. And it's Equator in the lead. So midway of everything then halfway through the race and halfway through the jump in. And it's Equator in front, Bell Kennan second and Mighty Black third. And Dancini family is four and Sharp Ride is five and Ernest is six and then Climbing Shadow is seven. So Gerhard has dropped back to eight and then Karuga Bank is nine and then Camp Possession as they get over number eight. And then also for the other Achane Byrne is the one that's lost a lot of ground. He's now right out the back with Ring of Esteem as they get over number nine. And over that one they all go with the order. Pretty much as you were, with Equator in the lead, and Belkin in second, Mighty Black third, and Dan Silly Family four, and Ernest Stravinsky on the inside, and Sharp right next, Tawanarko Gift making a bit of a fall. We're also going to try to go around the outside, French Vacation going widest of all, but creeping ever closer. The main pack are beginning to bunch, and Equator leads only by three now to Belkin, and that leads now down to two as they. Make their way to race into the final mile. They skip over flight number 10, which they all get to the other side of. And now Brigorn is the new back marker. But Equator is still the old leader from it. Ernest Stravinsky stable mate moves up into second. Then comes Bell Kennan. Mighty Black's the other one in fourth. And then comes Sharp Right. French Vacation getting closer on the outside. Akane Byrne now starting to make his way back through the field again. As they get over number 11. They're all safely over number 11. And they've only got three more to take. 
Twitter is about to be taken by a stable mate on the outside, Ernest Stravinsky. With Bell Kennan in third, and then Sharp right in fourth. Then Mighty Black, Kane Byrne making a forward move as they get over the third last. And a really good jump there by French. Vacation has seen that one there, right up into that leading group. But it's Ernest Stravinsky who's taking it up. Ernest Stravinsky's taking it up. Look at Tamanako Gift then running into a dead end. But it still looks like he's got plenty of horses underneath him. The jockey there, if he can get out. It's Ernest Stravinsky and Equator. And they're blocking in Tamanako Gift. And they're also blocking in Mighty Black on the outside. Bell Kennan's holding them in as well. And then after that one comes Sharp Right and French Vacation. And then Sir Gerhard Akane Burn a switch to the inside, surely they've got to get through there, they jump over the second last, and now they take this turn and swing towards home, the leading group of eight and nine have gone clear of the remainder, it's Ernest Stravinsky and Equator, from Mighty Black, who's now got a split between the two of them, nowhere to go for Tamanako Gift, that's got to be the unlucky one if it doesn't get out, they've got two furlongs to go, and it's Ernest Stravinsky who's kicked on for home now then, Ernest Stravinsky from Mighty Black and Equator, racing down towards the final flight, it's Ernest Stravinsky in the lead, Mighty Black is in second, Equator third, Tamanako Gift's now got a clear run, over the final flight, they go in. Might have left it too late. It's Ernest Stravinsky in the lead. Ernest Stravinsky looks to be going strongly. French Vacation is finishing well on the outside, and it's Ernest Stravinsky racing up to the final half furlong and racing towards the line. There, it's Ernest Stravinsky who's got enough in hand. They're taking nothing up the line. Ernest Stravinsky takes it. Bell Kennan gets up for second in Mighty Black, the third French Vacation was fourth. Talon Arco gift unlucky in fifth, and the field will trail back to camp position. It was the last one to finish, and Ernest Stravinsky. Race set up for him by his stable mate. He took it nicely. And Bell Kennan just getting up for second. The unlucky one there was Tamanarko Gift. And absolutely nowhere to go. And the leading 10 really got away from the rest of them. Ernest Stravinsky, the winner then for Paul Rhodes. Bell Kennan second for Alex Cherry. Mighty Black third for Graham Crittable. French Vacation for Leon Van Resburg was fourth. And Tamanarko Gift for Darren Thompson. An unlucky fifth.